The world must accelerate its use of renewable energy sources if it's to hit zero emissions targets, according to a new report. Ahead of a major international conference on climate goals, the International Energy Agency says emissions cutting projects that could generate tens of millions of green jobs around the world to replace some of those lost in the current pandemic. Tukumbo Salake has the story for us. It's widely accepted that pollution from the world's biggest economies is pushing global emissions to a level so dangerous that all life on Earth is now under threat. The response from many governments has been to set a target towards reducing ozone-depleting gases to net zero, but for most countries, making the change is complicated. According to the International Energy Agency, the answer is clear. Developed countries must accelerate innovation into clean energy programs. In its new report entitled Energy Technology Perspectives, the IEA says there are currently few technologies available that can reduce emissions to zero. That's why it's recommending a diverse approach based on several factors, including the rigorous selection of technology portfolios, a mix of public and private funding, and the encouragement of local cooperative measures to meet global challenges. It says it took decades to develop and adopt technologies like solar panels and batteries, and now we simply cannot wait. Its report highlights issues requiring immediate attention with the world still struggling to deal with COVID-19. Most governments are now united in the fact that they need to drive sustainable economic development and job creation. But key to the success of next week's summit will be if governments can sign up to green recovery plans, even if they're sceptical about climate change. Tukumbo Salako, Euronews.